What you may have heard is that there is a big secret the nursing home doesn't want you to know. Before I tell you about the big secret, I'd like to show you what the nursing home will tell you if you go in to talk to them about placing a loved one. What I want to show you is a very typical scenario that comes into our office. Harry husband and Wanda wife. Harry has had a stroke and needs nursing home care because Wanda can't take care of him at home. So the nursing home will say, Wanda, you're going to be at home, so we're going to set the house aside. Now, you have about $100,000 in CDs, cash, money market, and investments. Harry has an IRA with about $100,000. Wanda has an IRA with about $75,000 for a total of $175,000. That really isn't worth $175,000 because they haven't paid the taxes on it. For income, Harry has about $2,000 a month in Social Security and pension. Wanda has $800 a month in Social Security. She didn't work as long. She stayed at home raising the kids. Together, they have about $2,800 a month, and that's what they need to live on. If they have a big expense, it's going to come out of their investments. Years ago, Harry had taken out a life insurance policy that has a $100,000 death benefit. It has a cash value of $60,000. Wanda and Harry also have prepaid funerals. So the nursing home tells them, well, you have prepaid funerals, so you're going to have to cash out this life insurance. That means you're going to turn it in, you're going to take that $60,000 in cash value and add it over here. That means Wanda automatically loses $40,000, the difference between the cash value and the death benefit. So they add in the cash value, and they look at this number and this number together, and they say, well, you have about $335,000. The nursing home also tells Wanda that the average cost of the nursing home is $8,000 a month. Wanda doesn't have an extra $8,000 in her income every month because she needs the $2,800 that they have to stay at home. So the $8,000 a month to take care of Harry is going to have to come out of their investments. And they're going to spend that $8,000 a month until they get to a magical number of $247,200. This is called the division of asset number. The state determines this number every year. It doesn't matter what this number is the state will not talk to you until you get to this magical number. So they're going to spend approximately $87,000. And then they get to the division of assets. That's going to be 10 to 11 months. Now they divide this number in half, and they each get $123,600. For Wanda to get any help, paying for Harry's care, she can never have more than $123,000. Harry is going to continue to spend down his assets until he gets down to $2,000. That's going to be another 13, 14 months. The average time someone spends in a nursing home is three to five years unless they're there due to Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, something along those lines. Then statistically, it's seven to nine years. So in this scenario, it's been less than three years, and Harry is now down asset qualified to apply for Medicaid. A couple of things happen when you apply for Medicaid. First of all, all of Harry's income goes to the nursing home every month except for $50. There are a few things that Medicaid doesn't even pay for, such as hearing aids, dental care, and they'll only buy you a pair of eyeglasses every two years. That leaves Wanda with $800 a month. She can't live on that. By law, I can have part of Harry's income transferred to Wanda, but her total income is going to be $2,030 a month. That's still about an $800 a month shortfall. 
So Wanda is hoping against all hope that Harry is going to get better and come home. So she's going to take that $800 a month out of what she needs to live on for the rest of her life and drain those assets slowly. The other thing that happens when you go on Medicaid is the state starts keeping track of every dollar that they spend on you. When you die, they add it all up, get a nice big fat number, and attach a lien to the house. When Wanda realizes that Harry isn't coming home, she knows she has to stop this drain on her assets and she's going to have to sell the house. When she goes to sell the house, whatever the state has paid out on Harry's behalf, the state's going to get paid back before Wanda gets a dime out of that house. This is called Medicaid spend down. This is called estate recovery and it's mandated by the federal government. The big secret, this doesn't have to happen to you. And we don't want it to happen to you. And the scary thing is, this is just the beginning. There is so much more to know. Visit our website and RSVP for our upcoming free workshop. Seating is limited. Or call our office to schedule a free initial conference. If you know someone who is about to place a loved one in a nursing home, please share this video. The more information that they have, the more money they can save.